editing. It's the art of turning chaos into something watchable. But sometimes it feels less like art and more like a punishment. Cutting out silences and choosing the best takes. Who even has time for this? But then I found this tool, Firecut. It promises to save hours of editing time. So in this video I'm going to test this AI plugin called Firecut. It is designed to cut away silences, repetitions or other fillers. But it can also generate animated subtitles and find fitting b-roll on your preferred stock platform. I'm going to test this plugin myself and give you a quick overview of all the tools and how I usually edit my talking head footage. So let's get to it. Okay, so now we're in Premiere Pro and I just opened up the clip I just recorded. It's now raw in, in the sequence here. Only thing I did was adding an adjustment layer, so it's just a conversion LUT and I did some basic color corrections, so the cutting part needs to be done. And normally what I would do is to just go ahead, watch through and cut along the way. So I would cut here and make a cut right there. So here I'm adjusting the microphone a bit. And I did this sentence again. So I just cut here, delete this part and make a cut here. And this is basically how I would edit this part. As you can see, it's a bit of work. So the first thing I would do is to use the remove silences. Here we can select the tightness of the cuts. And what I would want is a tight cut. And then it asks you for the audio tracks. And I don't need this, so I'm going to delete it and just select audio one. Yeah, for the rest, I'm going to leave it like this and just hit go. And boom, it's done. So it cut away 16 silences, which is 173 seconds. Good to know. It basically just cut away all the pauses when I didn't speak. So you can see I have all the takes just cut together, uh, which makes it a lot easier to figure out which take was the best one. As you might have noticed, this part wasn't deleted. I guess it was too much of a noise as I was um, adjusting the microphone and it did make some noise, but uh, that's not a problem. I can just delete it myself. I will del just delete this part as I don't think it's necessary. That's not all we want to try. so. I will get back here and try the remove repetition. So I will test the advanced mode and press detect. So now it made a transcript of the whole clip and as you can see it just found three repeated phrases. They are highlighted here, you can check for yourself. And now what we can do is to preview and choose the best takes. You can now auto accept the last takes or auto accept the longest takes or you can do this by yourself so you can click on one and get it highlighted down here and then you can select for yourself which take you want to be in the edit. I'm going to do this real quick. Um, I think I can auto select the last takes and just go ahead. It now cut away all the repetition and we have a really short sequence now. As you can see, it's almost perfect. We have three takes, all the three best takes. Well, we also have this little filler here and also there is a cut we don't need. So that's a little unfortunate, but I think it's doable. I will delete these myself just real quick. And other than that, it did a really good job. So we cut down this whole clip with a lot of repetitions and uh, silences in just a few seconds or let it be minutes, but I didn't really do anything. The next thing I really want to try is to add zooms to make the sequence a little more interesting with little zoom ins and zoom outs. So I'm going to choose the scale. It's on 120, which is fine, I guess, and I will select face detection. I think it doesn't really matter here since my face is actually framed in the center. And then we can select our zoom curve. And here are some presets within the plugin, which is quite cool. So you can get a sharp cut, which is basically 
just a cut to a scale of 120 and you can select smooth in and sharp out so you have smooth zoom in and then cut to be original and you can also select your own like curve for your animation i will make it really smooth and then i will just hit go So what this plugin does is to see which part of the video is important. So where does a zoom in actually make sense? And this is just an example the AI does, but you can adjust it yourself. So if you want to highlight, for example, this phrase, you can just select it and click on add new zoom and it will just generate it down here. Here I'm going to test this AI plugin called FireCut. So you can see it does a really smooth zoom in, zoom out, just to highlight the phrase you're saying, but you can also adjust this yourself. So if you want to make it longer, for instance, you can just get into your effect controls. And as you can see, we have Let's make it a little bigger. You have all these keyframes down here. So it just adds this transform effect and adds the keyframes. You can also just move this as you like and it will adjust to the specific part of the video. And there you go. You have some really cool zoom-ins which make the video a little more interesting. Another thing I want to show is the add captions, because I think this is a really powerful tool. It first wants to transcribe the sequence. So now it made a whole transcript of your video in just a few seconds. And what you can do now is to style your subtitles. And we also have a lot of presets here again. I think I will go with this one and you can also stylize your font. And for this, I will use my font I usually use. Other cool thing is that you can just use this little window here to reposition your subtitles, which is quite nice. And then we can add this caption to the timeline. There we have it, a full cut timeline with zoom-ins and animated subtitles, which is very cool. And it only took about a few minutes. It's a really cool and intuitive plugin and it was really fun to test it out and see how it can be helpful for my workflow. It should only give you a quick overview and I really think that this could be a really helpful tool. So can FireCut actually save you time? Well, in a lot of ways it can. For example, cutting away silences, making zoom-ins or animating subtitles. I believe for these it can be a really powerful tool. Will it replace the editing process itself? No, definitely not. Being creative is still up to us. It can replace the more boring stuff or the creativity comes from us and I don't think that's ever going to change. If you also want to use FireCut yourself, you can get it with a discount using the code in the description. And I would really like to know what's the most annoying part of editing for you. Let me know in the comments below. And that's it for the video. I hope I could share something valuable and I'd love to see you in the next video.